Hi, I'm Norm Westby, the Happy Cooker, and you are the Happy Cookie. Yeah, great. absolutely. <laughs> Glad you could join us again this week. We've got a special treat for you tonight. We're going to cook an original chef's recipe. His specialty. Yeah, but it's been modified substantially. <laughs> <laughs> so that, you know, we protect the innocent. Right. Because okay. some of the ingredients this uh, chef uses, Tom, right, Thomas um, from Tom. the Doublewood Inn in uh, Fargo gave us this recipe just recently. And we're going to try to duplicate it. But Tom, if you see any resemblance to your original dish, it may not be true. We couldn't find all the ingredients. No, but we've improvised, I'll tell you. A little bit. We have changed it, but it still tastes very, oh. very much like his original dish that I had for lunch on yeah. Friday. It was wonderful. And tonight we're doing this walleye that is going to be kind of special. It's almond toasted, it, toast, it, toast, let's, toasted. Let's, let's get it right, toasted <laughs> almond encrusted walleye. walleye. Yes. Which will be served with uh, saffron, garlic, potatoes, mashed potatoes, mashed potatoes uh -huh. and a the layer uh, of spinach. Yep, yeah, with a layer of spinach and a sweet potato chip, chip. Mm -hmm. which will be kind of interesting. And that will be the garnish. Yeah, and it's we've got very a, pretty. a special salad uh, we're doing. I'm mm -hmm. going to make a homemade dressing for that. I think we'll probably do uh, a what? lemon poppy seed you or think? something. Yeah. Whatever you like. Whatever lemon, you like. Lemon honey poppy it seed. It could be what you How want. How about lemon honey poppy seed? Poppy seed? I think that would be okay. good. My Since grand... you're such a honey. <laughs> <laughs> you're one, too. <laughs> and then uh, you've got a special uh, yeah. dessert. I'm doing mocha cream puffs. Ooh, mm -hmm. sounds mighty fun. I think they'll be very good. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah, it should be good. We can add to our New Year's Eve resolutions. Right. Of Which not is, gaining any weight. Why does this apron continue to <laughs> stick out like that? I, I don't, don't know. know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well, we better get started. Yeah, I think okay? so. Yeah. So we're going to talk first of all. I got this. Uh, <laughs> right special, out of the refrigerator. Special recipe here of uh, a batter that I made up. Today and this is quite complex. This has gotten a little stiff, quite so I might have to thin that down. But this has some of the uh, almond already in it. I'm going to thin that down a little mm -hmm. bit, but okay. uh, that has quite a, a group of things in there. Mm -hmm. It's got some uh, special uh, fish batter, mm -hmm. and uh, you can call that tempura. Now, tempura batter is something you aren't going to be able to find everywhere, so I kind of had to improvise. Okay. I found some fish batter uh -huh. mix, uh -huh. dry powder, uh -huh. and to that I added uh, about a quarter cup of clam juice, uh -huh. and a quarter cup of dry sherry, uh -huh. and a quarter cup of soy sauce. Okay. Mix that all together uh -huh. with some other things. I got some flour in here. Uh -huh. You're going to have to kind of gauge this depending on what you want, but about a cup of the batter or a half cup, depending on how much fish you're going to make, you know, a half cup, quarter cup. One cup, you fix it. Okay, <laughs> but equal parts of the batter, okay. flour, and regular white flour. And then you had some seasonings got, in there? Yep, and I got a couple cups of uh, toasted almonds sitting back here, ready to go. Okay. And uh, the seasonings we've got in here, I've got a uh, Canadian grill seasoning. Mm -hmm. You can kind of improvise. Ours was called Montreal Grill Seasoning. Okay. And, uh, you know, we tried to get it as close to the Canadian as we could, so I found Montreal Canadian <laughs> seasoning. And then I've got a um, Cajun seasoning in there. Mm -hmm. Uh, don't ask me the proportions, about a tablespoon of each, Yeah. something okay. like that. Okay. And some salt and pepper to taste, mm -hmm. and uh, I also got... A little bit of that Parmesan. Parmesan peppercorn. Peppercorn So you, and since we I just, no, find I just, that, we made... I just ground some uh, fresh peppercorns and added some Parmesan uh -huh. to that. Okay. And that makes up your batter. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. And we're going to use that to put on our walleye uh -huh. before we put it in. I got the walleye being dried in paper towels in the refrigerator. Because you want them pretty dry so this will stick yep. to it, right? And we got to dip them in the batter. And, and then, then into I'm gonna, the almonds. Into the toasted almonds. Now you're going to broil this? We're going to broil them. Okay. That's Until good. they're ready. That's good. Yeah, they'll be <laughs> wonderful. And then uh, I've got the potatoes cooking for our mashed potatoes. And, and those how are, many potatoes are you cooking? I'm cooking a couple of pounds. Okay. Of uh, potatoes, potatoes, russets, or you can use reds if you'd like, whichever okay. you prefer for mashed potatoes. Either mm -hmm. oil will work. A little pinch of saffron, a um, quarter pound of butter, 
mm -hmm. mixed in there. Uh, four diced or chopped shallots mm -hmm. go in there, mm -hmm. and some garlic. A couple of tablespoons of chopped garlic, which is wonderful. So that, how many cloves? Uh, I'll tell you, fill two tablespoons chopped. <laughs> how many is that? <laughs> It depends, you know, garlic's come in different well, sizes, so some clothes are big, some are small. Okay, okay. all right. But we'll uh, we'll get it to taste okay. real good. Some parsley? Some chopped parsley mm -hmm. and uh, a little salt and pepper to taste. And That's going to be our mashed potatoes. Up. Yeah, so yeah. we better uh, get this stuff ready to go, and okay. uh, we'll take a little break right here, and we'll so be right back. So you stay tuned Just and come right back. Stay tuned. All right. What's my favorite station? My favorite. My favorite. My favorite radio station is... Wait, 1041. Love it. Okay, we're back and we're going to add here a quarter pound of uh, butter in which I've sauteed about four shallots, a couple of tablespoons of uh, garlic cloves, chopped, and some uh, about a tablespoon of chopped parsley. Okay. And we're going to put that in while you pepper. smash. A little salt and pepper, okay. but I, you could add that because I didn't get it in here yet. Okay. You can just grab it. Well, I can't while I'm oh, doing see, this. Oh, see, that's why. See? I get her this uh, stand mixer, you know. <laughs> okay. And here we go again, right? <laughs> How come you can't mash potatoes with a steak knife? <laughs> come on. I go happen for it. to like hand mixers. I'll Sorry. add a little salt and pepper to it. Okay. That, okay? Yep. And this has a little saffron in there as well, right? Yep. Pinch. Uh, just a, just pinch, a pinch. Just for flavor. And you'll notice it gets a little yellow. Yes, it when does. When you do that, right? Yep. Gives yeah. it a nice yellow color. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Not really yellow, but... I mean, but a yellow color, I should say. Yeah. I'll put a little salt and pepper in, okay? Okay. How's that look? Yep, that looks good. Is that enough? Yep. Not too much salt? Nope. A little more pepper? Whatever you say, dear. See, I'm so accommodating, aren't I? I know, you're too easy. I know. You're too easy on me. I know it. Those so are going to be nice. mash away here. I think we got to whip them up a little faster speed. I'll kind of be your shield. Will you? Yeah. That would be good. If you did this in the big bowl, you know, on the stand mixer, <laughs> you wouldn't have this problem we're having right now, which is splash it all over. <laughs> right? Honey, it would still splash. Okay. Well, we'll get it done. You think you want any more liquid in here, or is that going to be liquid well, enough? It's going to be good. Okay. I just wanna... want to make sure that, you know, your son taught us something over New Year's and Christmas that no. he rices the potatoes. Well, a lot of people do that. But we don't. Yeah. Because we like lumps. <laughs> no, these won't get lumpy. <laughs> They're getting good already. That's because of the saffron. Okay. Okay. The saffron helps the lumps. <laughs> yeah. Well, it makes them more flavorful. Makes them colorful. Yeah. And they get yellow. <laughs> So you get yellow lumpy potatoes. <laughs> but how do you like that so far? You... I think that looks good. I think that's good. Looks I good? think we should carry on. I'm going to move out of your way. I'm going to turn that griddle on over here. I'm going to let you here. get started. And we're going to make some uh, make sweet potato chips, okay? Mm -hmm. You like that? You want me to do those in butter or you want me to do them in uh, a little olive oil? What's your preference? Well. Let's find them. I think, um, Where are they? Here they are. Okay. I think butter is great, but you know, olive oil is great. Whatever you choose, dear. We had an old slogan when I was a kid that <laughs> said, candy is dandy, but liquor is quicker. Yes, it, I've heard that Does that still apply? One. I suppose. I don't now, know. Now, I've sliced these on the Make foods, sure you get those skinny ones. Food slicers, so, uh, There. Yeah. Yeah. These, these those are, are the ones. These are sliced real thin. Real okay, thin. Okay, these are sweet potatoes. You're going to have to get Sliced. lots of them. Do I need how many? Well. I don't want the little ones. They're too small. Okay, you can These put will work. back in. They're real thin. Show them real how thin they thin. are. Yeah, they're paper thin. Yeah. This one's thicker than some. Pretty but thin. This one's thin. Yep. You real thin. We're going to uh, okay. uh, fry those, actually, mm -hmm. at a fairly high heat, about 400 degrees mm -hmm. in uh, butter. Okay. Is that what you like? Uh, we can do it in butter. It burns a little easier in butter. That's good. Okay. <laughs> we like it to burn a little. You like those black chips, yeah. huh? Okay. This is a really good. unique way to serve this. We thought it was kind of fun, so we tried it, and it does work. They come out to be just like potato you chips. You want them to get uh, kind of crispy, okay? Mm-hmm. So they stand on edge. 
because we'll show you how we're going to use them. We're going to use them kind of as a garnish mm -hmm. in the uh, front. But uh, I'll do these up and then we'll come back and, and then we'll give our final, like. uh, yeah, final presentation. So stay tuned. Don't run away. We're going to make the uh, sweet potato chips and these are sliced Keep very thin. Okay. Yep. Very, very thin. And they're just going to fry those at about 400 degrees in uh, melted mm -hmm. butter. And those are going to be used kind of as a garnish. Plus, they're also very delicious. They are very tasty. They are very good. You will That's like, something you should you try will at like home. You like these. They're really fun. Yeah, when people tell you that on TV, don't try this at home. <laughs> try this at home. It's really try good. Try it, you'll like it. Matter of fact, we get a whole bunch in the fridge that we're going to make up. Yeah. For a meal for ourselves later yep. in the week. They're very Because they'll keep a little while too. But I slice those sure. very, very thin on a uh, yep. food slicer. So. You want me to bring you the fish next? You could. Okay. You can get that ready. I've got uh, this uh, walleye uh, dressing and we're going to impress that with some toasted almond. And uh, just show you how we're going to bread one of those and then we're going to have okay. to put these in the broiler. We're just going to put those in the, the mixture here, the batter, mm -hmm. and put some toasted almonds over it. Look at how nice those look. We'll just set them aside. And I'll tell you what, we'll uh, come back with our final presentation here, and we'll get these in the broiler and have them all ready. And so here's our final uh, We're plate. Back. We've got the uh, toasted almond and crusted walleye. Uh -huh. Under that is some uh, spinach leaves uh -huh. and our saffron garlic mashed potato. And I just, I just put a little of this uh, dill infused olive oil uh -huh. on the plate just to make it look pretty. Just okay. a few drops, little drop will do you look. Drop, oh, and then our sweet potato chip wants to lay down on the job, but it's doing okay. <laughs> As Julia said, Child says, throw it away and start over. <laughs> but we can't afford to do that, so no. we're staying with it. <laughs> and then we've got a nice uh, salad mm -hmm. with some, uh, what kind of dressing? What lemon, did you make? lemon, lemon poppy, poppy seed, seed <laughs> dressing and some focaccia bread. Mm -hmm. And tell us about your dessert. Well, joy. it's just a simple. Um, yeah, but you know, you got to show the inside of this. It's got this beautiful mocha, mocha chocolate, mocha chocolate. filling. Yeah, you can just mix and a little instant coffee and some melted chocolate chips in with your whipped cream and put that in the middle. And it's very tasty. And you kind of garnish the plate with some little melted chocolate sauce, chocolate yeah. sauce mm -hmm. and a little powdered sugar. You like that? You think that would be all right? Ooh, I think I'd serve it, you know, so this. You know what they tell me? There. The way to a man's heart is through his stomach, and his eyes. And his eyes? Yeah, because his eyes are always bigger than his stomach. Well, you, you could go on with that, but I'm not going there, okay? Leave that one alone. But uh, go there. You know, a little white Zinfandel with that and a uh, little fresh made coffee oh. with uh, hazelnut flavoring. And if we quit talking, we can go sit down with Jackie and have some dinner. We could. I'm ready. Let her sample this. I'm and ready see what to she eat thinks. it. We'll let her be her, our critiquer. Great. Okay. We want to thank you for joining the Happy Cooker Show again this week. Come on back next week. We'll be here. We hope you will.